Hi guys, welcome to episode number 38 of the video podcast, Me and My Dog and Some Yarn. Uh, today is November 13th, 2014, and it is um, Thursday afternoon. Uh, it, it has been a very, very long week and a very, very long day. Um, I know I must look tired. I feel tired. Um, yeah, I had an insurance audit today. Um, the phone rang off the wall. Um, just been busy with all kinds of stuff, so I'm glad today's over with. Um, but yeah, I'm here and I wanted to catch up with you guys because I haven't seen you in a little over a week. So how have you guys been go doing? Have you been doing well? I hope so. Um, I've got a lot of things to share with you. Um, but first I want to tell you it is cold outside. I am so, so excited. I love winter. I love cold weather. Um, of course, it doesn't get very cold here in Houston. Um, normally, we don't get any cold weather until after Thanksgiving. Um, but we've had a little bit of cool weather the last few days. And um, this morning, we woke up and it was 39 outside. And the wind chill factor was 28. And so I got to pull out my brand new red coat that I got last year and wore it for the first time. And of course I matched it with a uh, hand knitted hat that I had knitted um, last year, I believe. Excuse me. I'm sorry, my allergies are bothering me today too. Um, so yeah, I got to wear a coat, yay! Uh, tonight we've got a freeze warning, which we never have a freeze until December, so this is very strange. It's supposed to freeze uh, anytime after 8 o'clock tonight, and we're under the freeze warning until um, 8 tomorrow morning. So after I podcast, I have to go out to the garage and pull out all the old sheets and cover our plants. And then I'm going to make some Tuscan soup. Um, my husband is working late tonight, um, which gives me the time to podcast and make dinner a little bit later um, this evening. So um, it's soup weather. Yay. Um, so let's see. I guess we'll jump on in to the podcast. Um, I will not be showing a vintage um, pattern book today because um, I've got some things to show you. And I don't want to run too long. So first off, I will show you um, what I'm working on. And that is um, several different things. I have Knitter's ADD. Um, I am just going in all kinds of directions. I think it's because it's um, Christmas season. Christmas gifts coming up and I just have so many things that I want to knit and every year I say that I'm going to start my Christmas gifts in January or at least start them by July and it never happens. Um, I don't know. This um, first thing I'm knitting on I started right after the yarn crawl. It's not a gift it's for me so it's it's kind of I'm not pushing myself to work on it very much. Um, I usually have it sitting in the living room and when I watch TV at night with my husband, that's when I knit on it because it's very simple. It's just garter stitch, um, wrap and turns, except I'm not actually doing a wrap and turn, I'm just turning. Um, and then I'm following, um, I don't remember who, who came up with the idea? Um, someone came up with the idea of doing yarn overs uh, when you go to the next wing section. That's what I'm doing, and it's creating a little eyelet. And I just love this. Um, I'm still undecided about the yarn. Um, I saw a sample made up at Nan's Needlework on the yarn crawl, and that is why I chose the the yarn that I did. Um, it says it's a DK weight. I really think it's more like fingering. And it kind of, of course my fingers and hands are all dry because of the time of year and then it's, it's gotten a lot drier here. 
Um, so it feels like when I touch it, if I don't have lotion on my hands, it feels like I'm picking the yarn. And it just seems like in some spots of the yarn that it's really super thin and it might break. Um, yeah, not too sure I like the yarn. The yarn is by Louisa Harding. And here is the second yarn ball. I haven't gotten into that one yet. Um, you're supposed to do eight wings, and I am almost finished with the third wing. No, wait, I am finished with the third wing. I need to start my eyelet section. And I have about a half a ball yet, so I can probably, I know for sure I'm going to get the eight wings. Um, I might add a ninth wing. I'm not sure. So, um, it's for me, so it's not a rush. If I don't finish this anytime soon, it's going to be okay with me. Um, but I have Christmas presents that I'm working on, and so I will show you that. Um, oh, and the, the pattern is wingspan. I didn't tell you that, did I? I am somewhat uncoordinated today. I think it's because I'm so tired um, from today, earlier today. I woke up this morning and I thought, yay, it's Friday. And I started getting ready and then I realized, no, it's not. It's only Thursday. So that's that's kind of been my day. But here is the pattern, Wingspan, if you're interested. Um, I got it as a free pattern when the um, design now, uh oh, um, my camera stopped for a minute. Um, now it's a six dollar pattern um, but it, it knits up pretty fast I haven't knitted on it all that much and as you can see I'm already at the third wing so um, I like it anyways uh, let's move on I am knitting a Christmas present for my husband this is in the little bag that I got in um, on the yarn crawl at uh, the knitting nest and um, I don't know whose bag this is uh, that the actual person who made the bag was there selling her bags um, I love it let me show you inside isn't that cute um I will try to put this in the notes if I remember, and if not, if you're really interested, just um, send me a message through Ravelry, and I will um, look up her card for you. Um, but I'm making my husband some socks because he really liked the first pair that I made him, and these are, the pattern is called Jack, J-E-C-K, J and let me show you. Jack, and there is a picture of the socks. And um, I can't remember what yarn I'm using. This is um, Regia, and I don't have the label up here with me. I don't know what I did with it, um, but it is browns and blues different shades of brown and blue. It's really pretty. Seems kind of muted on the screen. Um, it's a little bit darker than what it appears. That is, when you guys saw this last time, I had just barely cast on. And I am already at the heel, making the little heel flap. This is a free pattern. Um, so I highly suggest it. It is a top-down sock, obviously. So, um, I think my husband will like this. I didn't make the leg quite as long as I made the last pair, but I don't think he really cares. Um, and to be honest, knitting men's socks isn't any fun because they've got bigger feet, and it seems to take forever. But... Um, Anyways, I think this is coming along great. I think he's going to love it. Um, I did buy another pair of sock yarn for him, which I'll show you in a little bit. And those are going to probably be for next year because I had already started these when I bought 
um, that other yarn. So, but he loves the socks, and I know he's probably going to want more, so um, I'll be ready for next year. So, that is Jack's socks. And what else? What else? Let's see. I showed you Wingsman and Jack socks. I'm making something for my mom. And I'm keeping it in the bag that I made for the yarn crawl. Um, I can't actually tell you in this episode what I'm making because my mom watches um, the podcast. But I did let her pick out this yarn. It's a uh, Cascade Heritage. And it's actually blue, royal blue. It's not showing up very good. It's royal blue with just like a tinge of purple. It's very, very pretty. Um, I wish the color would show up better. That's more the true color right there. But I'll, I'll show you all that um, later at another time. Um, so that's one thing that has to get started and hopefully finished for Christmas, Mom. I hope you get to open it Christmas. We will see. And then um, I wanted to knit something for Wendy, um, Silly Fruit. And so, Wendy, if I don't know if you watch my podcast or not, but if you happen to watch my podcast, um, please turn your head. Um, okay, so this is the yarn I'm using. And this yarn was gifted to me by my mom when she went to visit my sister in California. And she knows I love these colors, and but Wendy happens to love these colors too. And I've had this yarn about two or three years and I haven't knit with it yet and then when I decided I would knit something for Wendy um, I saw this in my stash and I thought oh my gosh this looks like her um, she loves pink and it's much brighter than what it's showing on the screen um, but I'm knitting her um, this pattern here let me pull it up It's this pattern, and I really think she will like it. Okay, so that is another project that I'm working on. Uh, Wendy, if you are watching, you can turn around now, because um, it's put away. <laughs> um, okay, so that is all that I've worked on this week. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of knitting time, um, but I have knitted a little bit. I really went to town on those socks for Vince because um, I took my dad uh, to the doctor the other day. Um, as you guys know, we work together. So I said, well, I'll, I'll drive you over there. So um, we weren't too busy that day in the office. So I drove him over there and I was able to knit and finish the whole leg of the sock while I was waiting. So that was great. Um, so guess what? I went somewhere this weekend. Um, my mom and I went to um, Bernie, Texas, which is north of San Antonio, and we went to the Kid and You Festival. Um, it was the first week that, I mean, the first year that we had gone. I've heard of the festival for a few years now, and I've always wanted to go, but um, I never got a chance until um, this past weekend. So we got up super early. We got up at 4 o'clock. <laughs> um, we, we wanted to make it a day trip because, as you know, um, we went on the Hill Country um, Yarn Crawl for two days. And then the following week, we went back the next weekend, kind of like a little day trip. So we've spent a lot of time um, out of town. And this is just a really busy time of year, so we didn't want to spend the night. So we decided we would get up really early, uh, be there when that opens, um, try to leave by noon or one, and then, um, you know, get back home at a decent hour. So that's what we did. We got up at four o'clock 
Um, I went and picked up mom by 4.30 or 4.45. We left Houston, um, drove up to Borney, and we were there by um, 9, 9, 10, something like that. Um, the festival was smaller than I imagined, um, but it was nice. Um, it has three, they had like three barns and vendors set, a, set up in all three. We got to see a bunch of goats. Um, it was so much fun. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I'm Black Horse Knitter on Instagram. You will see some pictures of the goats and some yarn and me and my mom. We had so much fun. Um, after the festival, we went to the Hungry Horse. Yeah, I think it's called the Hungry Horse. And I had a hamburger and they had homemade fries. And then my mom had a uh, fried fish sandwich and homemade fries. And we really wanted a piece of pie, but there was no way after eating all that food. So very good. If you're ever up in that area, I highly suggest that restaurant. It was great. Um, really, really cute time town. Mom and I want to go back because in the old part of the town they have a bunch of antique stores and gift shops and so mom and I plan to go back um, for another day trip as a shopping trip. So we will see if that happens anytime soon. I didn't show you my finished object. I'm totally losing it. Okay. These are my um, Tuscan, no, yeah, Tus Turkish bed socks. Turkish bed socks um, by Church Mouse. Um, I have knit at least four pairs. This might be my fourth pair, maybe my fifth, I don't know. Um, the yarn is Kugoi. Did I say that right, Sally? Um, Sally uh, and I were texting the other day and she told me how to say it and then I went and deleted her text and I was going to look and cheat at my phone, cheat and look at my phone um, to see if I was saying it right, but I accidentally deleted the message, so I hope I said that right. Sally, if not, please send me another text and let me know how to say that. Um, but I love this colorway. It's not showing up really good on the camera. But it is bright pink, neat like neon pink and orange and yellow and gold and blue and turquoise. It's just very, very pretty. Um, the camera really is not doing it justice. It's that's more true to color. I love it. I finished too. And I went to Target and on Instagram I had seen um, some girl posted a picture, I don't remember who it was, of some pajamas that she bought at Target and they're like a green color with little llamas. I had to have them. So I went to Target the other day and they actually had um, a few pairs left so I bought them and they're all washed up and tonight I'm going to put on my llama pajamas and my little bed slippers. I'm going to be so warm and cozy. Um, if Vince gets home early enough, we'll start a fire. But if not, um, this weekend. It's supposed to be cold for the next few days. And it's supposed to warm up just slightly for the weekend. And then next week another cold front comes through. So we're in for some cold weather. Yay! I love cold weather. Um, okay, so, okay, we went to uh, Borney. And um, I splurged and used um, some Christmas money that I, for my Christmas bonus last year that I still had stashed away. So um, I'm finished buying yarn for quite a while because I can't knit that fast. Um, so let me show you what I got. Okay, so we went to the Kid and You. And it, this was the 26th annual um, festival. 
and um, it went, it goes on for three days, but we only went for Saturday. So, um, where to start, where to start? Okay, so we went, um, and I've got uh, the Bard Dragon. Um, this is just beautiful, and I really wish my camera wasn't doing that weird thing where it just looks faded because this is gorgeous and the picture is not doing it justice. Um, the, the base, it's the Dragon's Magic Base. I mean, yeah, dra Dragon's Magic Base. Uh, the content is 7520. It's Superwash Merino, um, Silk, and Stellina. It is a lace weight yarn and it's 875 yards. The colorway is Oreos and milk and as a kid I used to have to have cookies and milk before I went to bed um, so yeah I had to have this it does look just like cookies and milk and um, the the dyer was actually very nice um, she gave me a card and she told me that this was actually an accident, but I think it's gorgeous. I don't know what she was trying to achieve, but this is perfect. So um, I love it. She has a Ravelry group if you want to check it out. It's Dragon's Lair, and her she has an Etsy store, and it's the Bard Dragon. Am I saying that right? No, Barbed Dragon, sorry. And that is the Itsy. Is that gonna that is not going to that is not going to um adjust correctly, is it? Ah, okay. It's WWW T H E the Barbed B A R B E D dragon d r a g o n dot itsy dot com okay so go check her out um it's soft and squishy and it's going to be a shawl i'm not sure which one yet but that's what it's going to be so that's one um then let's see then woolly wonka was there and i bought some of her yarn um on the yarn crawl last year at Knitting, what is it called? The Lucky You, maybe? It's the one in Jonestown, Texas. Anyways, um, so she was there. Um, I fell in love with this. I love red, white, and blue. And red, white, and blue is pretty hard to find. And so um, this colorway is called Old Glory. And it is, um, it's a sock base with 100% um, superwash merino. So since it doesn't really have any nylon, I like nylon in my socks. Since there is no nylon, it's probably going to be a shawl or something. I'm not sure yet. Um, maybe a big cowl. I don't know. But I had to have it. It's red, white, and blue. I don't see red, white, and blue very often. Then um, here is her card. And um, she does have a website. Um, it's www.woollywonkafibers, no, fiber with no s.com. Okay. Um, she has a Ravelry group also and a Facebook group. So anyways, then um, while we were there, uh, we got a pattern and I am loving this. This shawl is gorgeous. Mom bought some pewter, it's called pewter, was the, um, the yarn and I think it was a fingering weight but I'm not sure. It was gorgeous. Um, I might get her on the podcast someday soon and let her show you that yarn. It was beautiful. Um, yeah, I might have to go to her house and steal it. Um, 
Yeah, I wouldn't do that. But it was very, very pretty. When she makes something, I'm going to see if I can borrow it. I think she's going to make a shawl. Um, very, very pretty. So another vendor that we visited was the Knitting Rose Yarns. And here is the card. And I noticed today while getting everything together, um, she's out of Keller, Texas. And she has a podcast. Okay, now there. Okay, I need a new camera for Christmas. I definitely need a new camera. Um, she is from Keller, Texas. And I noticed on the back of her card that she has a podcast. So I have to go check that out. I love watching podcasts. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to go check that out. But she had a lot of yarn that had um, bison in it. So, I bought two skeins of um, budding 400 sock yarn and it's 10% uh, bison and 90% superwash merino and I bought this one for my husband. It's brown and it's called Pecan Brown. Very, very pretty. Um, it is a sock weight. And then um, this one, I bought this one, and then right as we were about to leave, I thought, I got to go back and get that red and brown one because I absolutely love red and brown, and I had to have it. I don't have any socks. Oops, where'd that string come from? Yarn come from. Um, I don't have any yarn, sock yarn, that I've made socks out of that have bison. So I had to go back and get it. She said she had a sample, I uh, knit it up, and this seems soft, but maybe just a tad stiff. She said that when you wash and it can be washed and dried. And it gets softer. Every time you wash and dry it, it gets softer. So I'm thinking, oh gosh, the the sample was so, so soft. So my husband is going to love this. He loves soft clothes. Um, when you go buy clothes for him, it's ridiculously hard. He likes to buy his own clothes because he'll go through, if he sees something, he might like it. But the minute he touches it, he knows whether he wants it or not because it has to be soft strange. I've never seen anybody like that, but he's going to love these. Um, I'm going to knit them up for Christmas next year. And of course I'm going to wash and dry them to make sure they're super soft when he opens it. So that was Knitting Rose Yarns. Gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. So what else did I buy? I bought, I bought a spindle. Yes, I did. Um, I have wanted to learn how to spin forever, so I bought a spindle. And this one is very, very pretty. It's a drop spindle. I don't know anything about spinning, but I'm going to figure it out because there's a YouTube. And you can learn anything by watching videos. Very, very pretty. And I believe... I believe this is where I purchased this. Heritage Arts. They're out of Grandview, Texas. I'm pretty sure. Right before I started my podcast, I tried to match up all the cards with the item that I bought, and this was the only card left. So I'm pretty sure it was. Um, there was another vendor that didn't have any cards, and I remember that, so... This has to go to this, right? I hope so. Anyways, I'm going to um, hopefully try to spend this weekend with this. We will see. Um, so what else did I get? Why I bought some fiber, of course. Um, just a little bit to try out. I do have some more fiber that I bought at the um, Yarnorama on one of my trips there to Page, Texas, and it's enough to make something with, but this is just a little sample. It's um, 
merino wool, and it's in the lemon colorway. It The company name is Mohair and & More, and it's just one ounce of roving, just a little over $2, and it is super soft. And I hope, I hope that I will be able to learn how to spin. We will see. I need lots of help. I wish you guys lived close by so that you guys could help me. I don't have any knitting friends that live here in, in Houston. I wish I did. I really need to get to the um, the knit night. Uh, they have one not too far from here, um, but it's on Wednesday nights, which is right in the middle of the week, and I'm usually pretty tired. My husband gets up at 3.30 that breaks my sleep hearing him get up and leave and then you know it just it's hard so um, I'll see maybe I can get to one soon um, I did go twice and I really like the ladies they seemed very nice so I'm gonna try it again and see um, so let's see what else did I get let me move some of this stuff out of the way I bought or mom bought this for me the Ten Smith's wife was there. I did not get a card because I got a card on the yarn crawl. But she gave me one of these little um, cleaners for cell phones, eyeglasses, sunglasses. Um, just really neat. It says Ten Smith wife. Um, but mom bought me this little bag here. Is that not cute? So cute, 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 cute. And it's got the little um, felted ball, and it's fully lined pink. Super cute. Cute, cute. Thank you, Mom. Um, and then I bought these little tiny felted baubles. Figured I could use them uh, for some type of craft. I'm not sure yet. Oh, and I forgot to show you. Uh, the same place that I bought the yellow fiber. I bought these little tiny, um, what are they called? Charms. And I bought two of them. And they're spinning wheels. Spinning wheels. Aren't they cute? You can see how dry my fingers are. Oh my gosh. I need some cream. Um, yeah, super dry here. So I bought two. And I'm going to make little stitch markers. One for me and one for mom. Um, yeah. Okay, so, a few more things here. I got, uh, two if by hand. And, um, this is Colorado Sunset. It's a superwash fingering sock yarn. So, since it has no nylon, it's probably going to be a shawl. And, um, oops. She gave me a little pin. Um, the Knitting Fairy. And here is her card. The Knitting Fairy. Well, it's not going to focus. That darn camera. Well, I'll read it to you. How about that? Um, it's the Knitting Fairy Yarn Studio. She does have a website. It is www.knittingfairy.com. Um, she's out of Grand Prairie, Texas. And um, I guess it's actually a store. Um, she offers classes, workshops, private lessons, and supplies. So she is definitely a... Um, a brick and mortar store. So, Knitting Fairy. Um, let's see, I can go over there. Pins. Then I stopped by. Um, Alicia goes around. I have seen her yarn before. Um, she's out of New Braunfels. And I love her yarn. I just haven't had a chance to ever buy any, so I bought some. And this is the Unicorn Fingering. Unicorn Fingering. It's 100% Superwash Merino. It's 400 yards, 100 grams. And um, I don't know what the colorway is. 
it's pink. I love pink. Bright neon pink. There, that's more true to color. So that's um, Alicia Goes Around. Okay, then I went to um, Stacy. Uh, Stacy Dawson, who is the owner and dyer of the mustache um, shop. She has a shop that you can order online, which I've never ordered online, but I've always wanted to try her yarn. She is also, um, she also has the mustache podcast, which I know you guys have heard. Um, she is one of the hosts. The other host is um, Steph. And um, she has dyed up the most gorgeous yarn. And I got to meet her in person, and she is super, super sweet. And I also got to meet uh, Diane, who is Suburban Stitcher. She was there helping out um, Stacy that day. So I got to meet both lovely ladies. It was wonderful to actually see people that I've seen or spoke to on um, the Internet. It's kind of neat. Um, that was really kind of the first time that I had met someone. But um, this is called the Perfect Sock, and it is self-striping. And um, this is her OCD. Two perfectly matched half skeins twisted together. So once you open this, it's actually two separate skeins. You can cake them up and start two pairs of socks, and they will match. The stripes will match. How awesome is that? Um, because I hate to have to try to figure out where to start and uh, you know you waste yarn by cutting off portions of yarn to get to where you need to start so this is great um, the colorway is dark side of the moon and it's one of her most popular I think um, colorways I think I saw on Instagram that the yarn harlot, I believe, had bought some of this. I think that's who it was. And it went crazy, and everybody was wanting this colorway, and it's gorgeous. Um, Diane Suburban Stitcher was actually knitting a sock out of this while she was there, and it was really, really pretty. Works up wonderful, so that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be socks. Um, probably just vanilla socks. And probably going to try the afterthought heel or fish lips kiss heel on this not sure yet but anyways that was Stacy so that was neat to meet the, those girls in person both, both very sweet girls and then I got to meet someone else I got to meet uh, Jennifer who is out of San Antonio Texas and uh, her name on Ravelry is I love me yarns I think that's it I wrote it down just to be sure no, I love me yarn. No S at the end. Um, but Jennifer, thank you so much for coming up to me and meeting me. I really enjoyed meeting you. I wish you lived in Houston because I don't have any knitting friends here in Houston. So, um, but yeah, thanks for um, coming up and saying hi. I really enjoyed meeting you. And um, I had planned to meet up with uh, Summer, uh, who also has a podcast. And um, that didn't get to happen. Um, she got there a little late. Mom and I decided to go back a little early. So I missed her. So hopefully I'll get to see her next time. Um, she actually does live here in Houston. But I have not met her yet. So um, I think maybe we'll meet for lunch someday. And that would be nice. Um, yeah. So... Um, I guess that's it. Um, I've been talking for almost 40 minutes now, so I guess I will close. I'm not going to have a knitting vintage book because I showed you so much yarn, um, but I got to go cover plants, and then I have to start dinner, and then I'm going to take an early shower, put on my llama pajamas, and I'm going to knit. So. Um, I will talk to you guys next week, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.